when the news broke about, uh, especially the shooting in Charleston um, uh, by Dylan Roof and, and the victims that uh, had, ha had been at that Bible study, and then the circumstances around the Bible study and how he had participated in it and, um, uh, and then still decided that he should end their lives, um, my first response uh, personally was prayer, was, was deep sorrow. Uh, and then as more news came of his involvement in uh, my own church body in the ELCA and, and that the pastors of that African Methodist Episcopal uh, congregation um, had been part of, of the theological education in my church body, um, that hit home because when I was a student here, I had colleagues and classmates that were from that church body um, that are from and serving in African Methodist Episcopal congregations. Uh, and immediately thought to myself, "Wow, you know, this is this is awful. This is what what a horrible tragedy." Uh, and and how, as a church, will we respond? Um, how can we, as uh, as the larger church, the the ELCA at large, and the AME uh, church, respond to uh, to this? And how will my congregation uh, in suburb suburban Philadelphia, uh, or in New Jersey, but suburban Philadelphia? Um, how will we take this on, if, if at all? Uh, and I think the struggle for, for myself and for a lot of pastors that serve in similar contexts of mine, that, to mine, um, especially in my own church body where uh, it's mostly, you know, uh, white pastors serving white churches, um, is how do we address this in a way that allows them to know and understand uh, the role that we all play in systemic racism uh, that um, is not always obvious to us? Um, how do we address that? And so in my own uh, response from my own congregation, my, my preaching reflected that greatly in those two weeks following. Uh, and I was grateful uh, that we were given some resources that second Sunday after the event had happened uh, to do some reconciliation to, uh, at least within ourselves. Uh, uh, in my own context, in my own town, we still kind of are in a pretty racially um, uh, monotone play place and so uh, for my congregation to go through some of the the confession and forgiveness pieces of that to the, for the prayers of the people and to really just name some things um, I hope as a, as a pastor that that allowed them to really know uh, that this is not something that happened far away that we're not part of uh, and that um, the shooter Dylan Roof um, was a member of an ELCA congregation that looked just like mine uh, and that and that we have had, you know, that any young person out of any congregation in any denomination, but uh, that it, it, it hit home for us in a way that was, uh, I think, important. I think it, 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 was, um, uh, it was an open door for me to really address this in a way that I might not have been able to otherwise. Um, so, you know, those resources that came from the ELCA and I think also um, having a, a, a sense of the world being uh, shifting a lot, and especially in this country, the, the racial um, divide and divisions that are happening, or at least coming to light. You know, I don't think they're just happening. I think they've been happening for a long time, and now we're really beginning to focus on them. Uh, I think the challenge for pastors now is to navigate in their congregations um, in a way that, that doesn't only inspire uh, visceral reaction but that inspires helpful conversation. Uh, and I think that's one of the biggest challenges in congregations where um, you don't experience this firsthand. If you're not experiencing something like this firsthand, it's very, very difficult to, to relate to it in any way. And then not only relate to it, what we're being asked to do is really be responsible for it. Uh, and so as a pastor, it's, it's a very delicate thing. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough line to walk sometimes with people that are, uh, vehemently disagree um, or that really um, uh, don't want to talk about this in the way that they think uh, is unfair to them or unfair to someone else. Uh, and so I think that's, that's the greatest challenge we face with, with that whole situation.